Welcome to Starlight Strand, a beautiful expanse mysteriously divided between dazzling palettes of dusk and dawn. This fragrant floral fantasia is home to nectar-loving honey and flutter slimes and its canopies are abuzz with hives that can be harvested for wild honey and buzzwax. As you can see in both the description and the screenshots, Starlight Strand is basically two worlds smashed together. On one side you have these very bright blue colors, on the other one you actually have some more darker brown colors that you will probably easily connect to autumn. I mean, even the sky is divided by violet and blue hues. Now, this area also features some diverse vegetation compared to the other zones, going from the new updated sponge trees to tropical flowers to, you know, huge mushrooms like the ones we know from Maj Blanket. And in the announcement trailer, we actually also saw that this area has tons of caves for the baddie slimes to hide in. Now, most likely Starlight Strand is actually connected to Ember Valley because, as I mentioned in that video, I found this specific screenshot that features honey flutter slimes and a quantum largo. Now, this area in the background has some distinct features that we can link to Ember Valley, while these specific slimes are actually more a fit for Starlight Strand, as that was confirmed by Monomi Park in the description that I just mentioned. Now, the quantum slime being there may also be an indicator that there are some type of ruins close by. Now, I believe Starlight Strand is also connected to Rainbow Fields, because as you can see in this screenshot, in the very front we have some slime statues, which are basically decorations that we saw a lot in the Rainbow Fields, but not as much in the other areas. And in the back of the picture, we actually see this double tree that we saw with the announcement of Slime Rancher 2 in the background and even in this specific screenshot with a lot of slimes. So I believe this is going to be the entrance from the Rainbow Field side into the Starlight Strand. Now, right now we have a few slimes already confirmed for this specific area. So these are going to be the pink, the honey, the cotton, the flutter, the ringtail, the batty, and the phosphor slime. So on the Gordo front we have the ringtail Gordo, that's a chunky boy, and the flutter Gordo. What I do really want to point out in this specific screenshot with the Flutter Gordo is that we actually have this specific light behind them. Now, I believe this may be a fallen star. Like this fallen star that actually would affect the area enough to make it feel like there are two different palettes of colors in this specific area. It would make sense and it would also kind of make sense with the name. Now on the front of food, we actually have a lot of confirmed food. So here we have the Han Han, the Pogo, the Mint Mango, Qberry, and actually our very first screenshot where we can see some water lettuce growing naturally. On the front of Slime Science Resources, we can actually have some wild honey and buzzwags that we can find here. I believe we can actually find these just by vacuuming these specific hives that are hanging from these trees and mushrooms. That is everything that I can confirm right now about Starlight Strand. But how about we talk about the conservatory next? If that sounds good to you, just check out this video right here, but don't click on it just yet. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on Slime Rancher 2, and I'll see you over there.